I am here with Bubba Badman Jenkins, who is fighting Gabriel Braga on June 28th at PFL 6. That's going down this year in Sayu Falls, South Dakota, at the final regular season event, obviously the second set of fights for the regular season. Uh, Bubba, you know, this is coming up, but before we get into that, um, um, you know, we saw the PFL pick up Bellator uh, late last year, and they've decided to keep it going as its own thing. You're a veteran of both promotions, so what are your thoughts on them continuing on with the, the Bellator brand for the time being? I think it's awesome for the Bellator guys. You know, they don't have to, you know, be so uh, fast to be adapted to what PFL is doing. They can still, you know, have you know, their cake and eat it too as far as what Bellator had already uh, planned for them and, you know, easy to transition as they move towards, you know, being one organization. I think it's awesome. You know, when you joined Bellator, I think you only had three pro fights, obviously a, a lengthy wrestling career behind you, but, you know, what did that promotion mean to your career and, and joining it so early on and it being, you know, the number two, so to speak, uh, for quite some time? Was that just kind of like learning on the job? Uh, it was learning on the job. I wouldn't say that um, I had my best time in Bellator. Um, you know, there weren't times where they uh, listened to me as a fighter. There weren't really times where they took care of me as an organization. So, uh, I'm glad PFL bought Bellator and Bellator didn't buy PFL. Um, I asked for my release there. Uh, there was times that I wanted to fight and they just, you know, sat me around. So um, I'm prayerful that uh, the PFL continues to stay in control and that, you know, Bellator doesn't do anything with the Bellator ways that they were uh, having of the past so that I can continue to do my career the way that I've been doing it and put on these exciting fights. I'm not the biggest fan of the way Bellator you know, ran my career or, or other careers. Was it just the inactivity in particular? Because I imagine it's much nicer in the PFL knowing that you're going to be fighting uh, in comparison. Yeah, the inactivity, the way it's ran, the what they do, how they how we how we deal with the athletes as we travel and, and arrive and different things like that. The people that are in the organization, I just like where I where I am better than where I was. You know, it's almost like you know having a current girlfriend and then re you know, re renewing the vows and then the other girl comes back and you're like, how was she? Like, eh, I'm I'm cool where I'm at. <laughs> well, it's definitely good that you are cool where you're at. Um, you know, getting back to this season, I guess we can take a step back to the first fight. Kai Kamaka didn't go your way, go to, went to a decision, but you know, what were the takeaways? What were the lessons learned there? Um, the lessons learned that we got to make sure we put the guys away. Um, you know, they're, there are a lot of things in the in the uh, in the sport that you know they give you an opportunity to not have to see uh, the politics of it, and I think that I I was presented that, and you know um, like like you said, the judges saw it a different way, and we look to uh, make sure we capitalize on anything that we do that is uh, fight in the. Now, before I ask you about the upcoming fight, you mentioned something there about the politics of it. And I'm just curious if you can elaborate on that, because we've heard a lot about the politics of the matchmaking this season. I'm just wondering if that's uh, anything to do with what you're hinting at. Uh, no, um, I had a good matchup. I just felt like I won the fight. and Now I'm moving on to the Gabriel Braga fight, and you know, I'm in a position where I have to get these points. And you know, I love the PFL format. You know, it gives me an understanding of what you need to do. And, you know, I'm trying to make the playoffs. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, obviously, to make those playoffs, does it change the game plan going into this fight, knowing that, okay, you lost to Kai, he got three points because it was a decision. So now, you know, if that came down to being the tiebreaker that he has a win over you, you've definitely got to get uh, some points here. You've got to get the finish. Does that change how you approach this? Absolutely. Like you said, I have to get the points. I have to get the finish. Um, there are a couple of other fighters with, you know, decent knockout points. And, um, you know, they only take the top four. And I, I want to be in the top four. So it changes every strategy about any plan that I've ever had. The plan is to obviously go in and get the results and get our hands raised. But with the points being the way they are, I have to go get a finish. And I have to go do do it early. So, um, you know, the strategy is thrown out the window. And, and then it's finished any means necessary. So talk to me about the matchup then. Gabriel Braga went to the finals last year, came up short against uh, Pinedo, but obviously uh, he's been there. You've been there as well. How do you see this one playing out? 
Uh, I, I I see it playing out my way. I see it, you know myself going in there attacking all the weaknesses that I believe that he has, and it, you know hopefully it opens me up for a submission or a knockout. That's when what you I plan to get. Without giving away any specifics, uh, I'll, I'll kind of give you that out on this question. But there are specific w weaknesses that you see in his game. I don't think he's that strong on the ground. Love him to death. Um, I think he's an amazing fighter, and I love his, you know, the way his career has pro projected. Um, trust me, I was rooting for him to be a world champion at this point last year. So um, it is, uh, it is tough to have to, you know, face him in the cage and, you know know what he's going through and, and, and still have to, you know, be all about business. But um, that's just the position that I'm currently in. Is it even harder knowing through what he's been through more recently? Because you mentioned, you know, you were rooting for him last year and then this year with losing his father. I mean, very I don't know. Much harder. Uh, very much harder because I know I knew his father. I was uh, he, me and his father had a good relationship and um, me, him and him, um, me, him and his father um, bonded in the growing of them towards PFL and me and PFL and them. So, um, you know, being in the locker rooms and fighting at the same time and, you know, just having that, you know, camaraderie that you have with, uh, you know, warriors and, and being in the same camp and being on the same hunt. Um, it's, it's, it's really sad and it's really heartening. And um, he's one of the guys that I like in the sport and in the uh, mixed martial arts um, in the company, so you know you, you don't you don't always get to fight guys that you want to fight. You always sometimes you have to fight guys you don't want to fight, or you have to fight guys that are are on the friend side of things, and it just makes you uh, a better competitor uh, and a less you know emotional braggadocious person when it comes to me because a lot of times my braggadociousness and my openness comes from trying to you know pull out of something out of my opponents or just have some fun entertaining, but. Um, this is strictly business. It has nothing to do with the entertainment. It has nothing to do with the opposite opponent. You know, this is strictly, you know, we have to go do what we have to do. If I had it my way, any other way, I would, you know, sign somebody else up for these FISP applications. Have you been in this kind of situation before where you are fighting someone you would you would rather not because of, you know, the, the friendship or, you know, oh, my any kind of emotional? My introduction to the PFL was against a a guy that I've known since I was 12, 11 years old, and, and Lance Palmer. Uh, me and Lance Palmer go back to, you know, recruiting visits and, and hanging out in college and things like that. And my first fight into the PFL introduction was against the two-time world champion in, P in, in Lance Palmer, and we are really good friends. Uh, he's probably one of my best friends in mixed martial arts. So um, to, to have to fight him um, was uh, was very difficult. I think we have the same birthday and some other stuff. You know, me and Palmer go back. <laughs> so um, it's not my first time having to fight someone that I like or care about, things like that. But in that result, and then as this one, I'm just going to go get my job done. Well, obviously, uh, you do what you got to do, what you got to do on the night of the fight. And, uh, you know, everything is all handshakes and respect after. Um, after as well, if all goes well, you jump into the semifinals. Is there anybody uh, besides yourself, obviously, on the other side of this that you've got your eye on who you think, hey, they might go all the way this year? Oh, oh. Uh, it, it won't be any Bellator guys. I would only want you know PFL guys. So the year that they first clash, I won't. I don't want any Bellator guys to to do it. So I would say lock name, but. Like you said, besides myself, I would want that rematch. I want that revenge fight. I, you know, there's no part of me that you know has befriended Lockning to the point that I don't want my own world championship or my own aspirations to be at the top. You know, the fact that it didn't go my way and on the cards in the first um, first fight doesn't change the fact that I want my hand raised at the end of the year. It doesn't change the focus of getting my hand raised at the end. It just changes the um. It, it's the in which I have to go in for each fight. Do you enjoy that? I mean, obviously you had the rivalry with uh, Chris Wade and you were supposed to fight the third time. He missed Wade. But do you enjoy having a rival like that, like Logdane could potentially be? Yeah, absolutely. It brings the best out of you. It gets the uh, crowd going. Um, you know, it gets their fans and your fans going at it. You know, that's the part of the sport that you kind of like. Um, yeah, it's hard to see, as we've seen in the past of PFL, with friends fighting each other. You don't really put on the best performances. You know, it's more like a glorified drilling, you know, or a 
glorified sparring or something like that. But um, when you have a little animosity or you, you know, there's a, there's a, a respect and a, and a, and a, you know, me and a lot have explained that it's, it's one chicken in the field and we're both wolves, hungry wolves on the same hunt. Um, last time he kicked me enough to not allow me to run towards the chicken like I wanted to. Right. And, and he ended up getting the job done. Um, but it doesn't change the fact that I believe he's still a wolf. It doesn't change the fact that I, you know, am still hungry enough to go steal a chicken from him out of his mouth, right? Um, it just gives you that that hunt and that 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 love for competing and competitiveness that you that you look for. And as a fighter, we have a little bit of a, a you know a couple screws loose. So to to want to to go out there and, and fight random people or random friends or or or. Uh, I wouldn't even say friends, but acquaintances, uh, it gives us that understanding of who we are. I love that analogy with the chicken, by the way, um, and the wolves. Hopefully you get your chicken this uh, this fight coming up, obviously uh, June 28th. Um, I mentioned Chris Wade as well. If down the road the stars align that you could be matched up again, is that a fight you would still take at this point? I don't know who you're talking about. I don't mention that name. I don't. He's a man of the past. He's not even in this organization. I'm still here. They got hit like I was hit, but he ain't breathing. Fair enough. Uh, I'm going to ask you one more before I let you go. And Bubba, I want to thank you again for the time today. Uh, just give us a prediction. PFL 6 against Gabriel Braga, the second fight of the season to make the playoffs. I think we know there's going to be a finish if all goes your way, but how does it end? Uh, first round knockout. All right. Well, I wish you the best of luck. It's going to be an exciting fight and uh, looking forward to it. Looking forward to PFL 6 in Sayu Falls, South Dakota. Thanks, boss. Appreciate you having me. Absolutely. You're welcome. You have a great day.